There's an address in Corpus. Even though Carlos de Luna was convicted and executed for this crime, there's very compelling evidence that another Carlos, Carlos Hernandez, may have been the real killer. <coughs> we don't have a, um, a DOB on Hernandez. Right. Yesterday, De Luna took the stand and told the jury that he didn't kill Lopez, but pointed the finger at a friend, Carlos Hernandez. But as far as the state was concerned, this particular Carlos Hernandez didn't exist. Try to get some more information out of him about, you know, where his man lived, he's ever worked anywhere. Uh, it was all dead ends. They have not tried to find this person. They say they've tried, but they have not tried. You know, when I was back there in court, I offered to take the lie detector test or any kind of test that District Attorney wanted. Karen Moudry, Newswatch 10. Carlos Hernandez was involved in many crimes that weren't ever even brought to an investigation. I mean, that's how I said a case. God, that'll tell you everything right there. That's the kind of killer that he was. Escobedo knew who Carlos Hernandez was. He knew, he knew who Carlos Hernandez was. He disregarded what we were trying to tell her. Is this a case of tunnel vision? Where you know this, they dragged the guy out from under a truck. We got the guy. Trains left. We got the guy. guy. They arrested him. He's hiding underneath the car. This is the guy. Where are the fingerprints from the door? Where are the fingerprints from the knife? Where are the fingerprints from the cash register? Where are the fingerprints if any money was there? So in this particular case, Carlos and Nanda got Carlos and Luna to take the fall for him. That's the way out of it. This is a picture of De Luna taken in January of 83. This was Hernandez in April of 83, so it's pretty close together. And just look at the profile. You know, look at that. Look, look, look. To me, you just fix his hair, and it's pretty damn close. The fellow who did come eye to eye with him is the one who tells us now, well, you know, him being Hispanic and having no shirt, and then I heard that he was caught underneath a truck. I figured they had the right guy. The knife that's found at the scene, this knife right here, is exactly the kind of knife that everybody who knew Carlos Hernandez said he always carried. They would look at it and say, that's his knife. And he told a half dozen people that he did it, and that Carlos Deluna didn't do it. Long after it was out of the headlines, he was still telling people, I did it, and my stupid Takayo, meaning, meaning namesake, uh, took the fall. Even when you have all of these things that add up to Carlos Hernandez being a real killer, I know we, we sort of have this give and take where I think I always doubt, are we wrong here? Are we missing something? Is there something that we're seeing the wrong way? This is a very emotional case. I mean, the wrongful execution of somebody, you can't help but be emotional. But you have to be just really, really, really cold to, to look at it clearly.